This comes from a cluster bomb. This is what they do. They're widely condemned because they're indiscriminate weapons, not meant to be precise. The bombs are banned by more than 100 nations. Although the U.S. isn't one of them, it did commit to phasing out unreliable cluster bombs by 2018. But now, even that phase-out is being delayed. So why is the U.S. still clinging to cluster bombs? So what in effect has happened is the U.S. failed to design a safer cluster munition and is now going back to using the unsafe cluster munitions. Mark Hisney is a senior arms researcher and the associate director of the arms division at Human Rights Watch. People should care that the laws of war are not being evenly applied by states. And the United States is now amongst those groups that use this weapon, which has a nasty and well-deserved reputation for being indiscriminate, both at the time of the attack and after the attack. The U.S. military defines a cluster bomb as munitions composed of a non-reusable canister or delivery body containing multiple conventional explosive submunitions. It's these conventional explosive submunitions that pose the biggest threat to civilians. That's because not all of them explode. The ones that don't explode pose a huge threat to civilians long after the bomb is used. Children might pick them up and set them off, or a farmer might detonate one in a field. The one system that the U.S. had that it would meet the 1% dud rate policy is called sensor-fused weapon, and the military name is CBU-105. Every step, there was a failure. Either they didn't separate from the bomb, they didn't self-destruct, but here you are with something very odd-looking sitting in the middle of the road in Yemen, just begging for you to pick it up. It's a good anti-personnel and anti-morale weapon because it can be dropped in large numbers. The U.S. has a long history of using cluster bombs, first using them in World War II after capturing German butterfly bombs. In the 1960s and 70s, the U.S. blanketed Southeast Asia with them. Leftover bomblets that don't explode quickly become a nightmare for people in places like Southeast Asia or Afghanistan. Eventually, the U.S. Department of Defense committed to stop using cluster bombs that had a dud rate of more than 1%. It set 2018 as the deadline. But in November, the Pentagon delayed that commitment indefinitely. This doesn't mean that the U.S. is going to start using cluster bombs any more than it already is. The last time it did was in a cruise missile attack in Yemen in 2009. But it is a blow to the effort to finally get rid of cluster bomb submunitions. To get a hold of the problem, you need to stop the use in the first place to be able to start catching up with the problems. They're still digging up many thousands of unexploded submunitions in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos every year to this day. <laughs> 